We continue with our special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from the Republic of Turkey. One of the most incredible sites here in Turkey is the ruins of Ephesus, a city of historical importance to many cultures. This Week in Louisiana Agriculture's resident scholar of Middle Eastern studies, Neil Melanson, is standing by in Ephesus to give us a glimpse of one of Turkey's most ancient treasures. Neil? Mike, I'm standing here in the Roman Stadium in the city of Ephesus, a city that dates back more than 6,000 years, encompassing many of the traditions that we know are part of Western civilization here in Turkey, the crossroads of the world. Turkey has been part of a number of civilizations, including the Hittite, Egyptian, Greek, and Roman. Ephesus began as a Greek port city housing the third largest library of the ancient world. Over time, silt deposits pushed the shore back and the Roman Empire conquered what was then Asia Minor. Ephesus became the final resting place of the Emperor Hadrian, and the Colosseum there became the place where the Apostle Paul preached on the sand drenched in the blood of gladiators. Ephesus is only one of several places mentioned in the Christian Bible. In fact, the first church was established in Antioch by Peter the Apostle, who was fleeing Roman authorities. A cave in the back provided an escape route in case soldiers came for him and his followers. Caves still function for the people of Turkey, like the one housing the restaurant Uranus near the town of Nida. In Istanbul, a 3,500-year-old ancient Egyptian obelisk stands as a testament not only to the reach of their empire, but also of agriculture as it sits on a pillar showing farmers in the fields. The obelisk sits in the old Byzantine Hippodrome, which is now a plaza next to the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. It's more famously known as the Blue Mosque for the blue tiles that adorn its interior. More than 20,000 tiles decorate this architectural marvel, which is still used as a functioning mosque. Near the Blue Mosque is the Hagia Sophia, the Church of the Holy Wisdom, a building that perhaps best represents Turkey's cultural traditions. First built in 360 as a Greek cathedral, it has since served as a Catholic church, a mosque, and now a museum. A mosaic of the Virgin Mary sits next to frescoes of seraphim from the Book of Revelations, looking over the name of God written in Arabic. The dome itself is art, made intentionally to make the beholder seem small before the presence of God. It's easy to feel small before the weight of history in Turkey, which has seen so much that has been critical to the development of both the eastern and western worlds. The Hagia Sophia overlooks the Bosphorus that connects not only the Black Sea to the Mediterranean, but also Europe to Asia and, as some would have it, the past to the future. So Mike, as you can see, it's been a long road on our trip here through Turkey, but well worth it given the vast history of this magnificent country. A long road, certainly, Neil, but an amazing trip nonetheless. Neil Melanson, thanks. And if you'd like to see more of our photos from Ephesus, as well as read stories about our experiences here in Turkey, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org. There you'll find a link to Larry Michaud's blog, some incredible stories there you don't want to miss. Well, before we leave you today, we want to thank some people who helped us along our trip here in Turkey. We'd like to thank the director of the Atlas Foundation, Tefik Akmaluk. We also want to thank Dr. Richard Webb, Dean Emeritus of Southern University's College of Arts and Humanities. And we also want to thank Dr. Duan Coach for acting as our tour guide during our 10 days here in Turkey. I'm Michael Dano. That's our program for this week. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.